This is the tech guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to do ADB commands via Wi-Fi. Let's get started. First thing you'll need is your ADB drivers. I have a video on my YouTube page on how to get your ADB drivers and um, and everything else you'll need to get this done. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, now you'll need to open up your ADB um, fastboot file that you should have in your downloads or um, C drive or whatever you want to call it. Um, I have mine's on my desktop or home screen, um, so I'm gonna open that up. Now what you want to do is hit Shift and right click. Um, I need to put down my phone for a second so I could uh, do this. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, now I've done what I've told you guys to do. Now what you want to do is open a command window here. And then after you do that, you will need a rooted phone. Now I'm going to switch over to a old phone that I had. It's like the first phone I had, but it's rooted. So yeah, let's keep going. Now, uh, now, this is my little new baby cousin, but yeah. Now, to know that this is rooted, what you want to do is... Hold on. You'll want to... Sorry about that. Um, Where's root checker? Uh, Lord. Is it on here? Huh. Oh, King Root. Now, th this is how you know it's rooted. It says root, root obtained right there. Um, now that you know you have a rooted device, what you want to go to is Google Play. And then you want to type in Network ADB. Click More. And then you want to find this application right here, Wi-Fi ADB Debug. And then um, once it's done downloading, you want to open it. Once it's opened, you want to turn it on. And then you're going to type in this command right here, ADB, and then the IP address, and then this port right here. Once you've typed that in in the command window, then you are good. Now, I'm going to type that in in the command window um, right about now. So, A, A, D, B, C, O, N, N, E, C, T, and the IP address for the phone is 192 dot one sixty eight dot one dot five then you want to hit shift and get these little two dots right about here if you can see them yeah those little two dots and you want to get that and then you want to type in the port and the port is always um, quad five, like five, 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 five. Once you type in that, uh, a server or a service, some type of service is going to start running. And then you're going to be connected to your phone. I'm just waiting for the CMD to process this. Oh, it says unable to connect. Oh, Lord. Did I type it in wrong? Uh, let me do this again. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. I need to get this correct.
Alright, I'm back. Now, this should work this time. Uh. Says unable to connect. Oh, God. All right, all right. I fixed it. Uh, I got it. I'll be right back again. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry about that again. Um, the reason it wasn't working is because... Um, for some reason, the phone was connected to the wrong Wi-Fi, which is not connected to my computer for some reason. And when I turned off the Wi-Fi, I had to turn off the Wi-Fi and turn it back on on the cell phone. And then turn off the ADB um, Wi-Fi thing. So, um, this is the new IP address right here. Right there. And I just gotta keep trying. I gotta keep doing that. And then you hit enter. And then once you do, once you're done with that, it'll say connected to and then the IP address with the port. And now you can type in ADB commands to your phone. Um, let me do one for example: ADB reboot. Now, once they hit enter, you're going you're going to see the phone reboot. Um, now, uh, here's the phone. I'm going to hit enter right about now. The, f the phone just shut off. And it's going to shut back on. I mean, turn back on. That's it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.